Hey guys, you're watching Python Tutorials on my YouTube channel, Python for Microscopists. Well, this is not just for microscopists, this is for anyone who is interested in image analysis uh, using especially machine learning or deep learning. So in this quick tutorial, or short tutorial I should say, we are going to look at how to generate the convolutional layer outputs and visualize them. Okay, and while learning deep learning, you probably ran into these type of images where you see a bunch of filters and corresponding responses and it probably explains that, hey, okay, as you go deeper and deeper, you start to look at, you know, different types of features. Well, you can do the study yourself if you can print the responses out. So let's jump into the code and let's see how this can be done. So first of all, I copied the VGG16 architecture from GitHub. Okay, you can actually directly import VGG from Keras, but I wanted to see the structure so you can see the structure and identify where the convolutional layers are. So I just copied someone else's code where they actually put together this and you can find many variations of this. Of course, you can do whatever I'm showing here using your own models. Okay, it doesn't matter. So this is a great model to start with. So let's go ahead and import the relevant libraries and then run these lines of code to define the model all the way to model summary, okay? Let's go ahead and print the model summary, and there you go. And by the way, obviously we are uh, defining our model using Keras's sequential method, and then just doing dot add and adding these layers, starting with zero padding and convolution, zero padding, convolution, max pooling, and so on. So if you go back here on the right-hand side, you can see, again, pretty much the same Thing as a summary, zero padding, conv2d, zero padding, conv2d. And you can see that my convolutional 2d is a 3 by 3 by 64. This 64 represents the number of filters in that convolutional layer. And in fact, this is not just 3 by 3. This 3 by 3 is in x and y, but it's 3 by 3 by 3 because it's an RGB image as an input. Now, with that knowledge, let's go ahead and start looking at the layers and start studying the layers, okay? So the first thing we'll do is assign model.layers to layer so it captures all the layers and then we can pick which ones to visualize. So let's go ahead and run that and you'll see that, okay, there are a total of 37 layers in our model. And the first one, which is obviously represented by value zero, that's zeroth padding and uh, uh, the, uh, the second one is con2d and so on. So it looks like we have convolutional layers at position one, three, and also six and so on. Let's go ahead and look at the convolutional layer one, the first one, okay? Of course, let's go back here and then reiterate this one more time. Zero, one, two, three. So we have convolution layer at one, at three, at six, at eight, at 11, so on. So the first two convolution layers are 64 uh, filters, and then comes 128 filter, and so on, okay? Again, I'm repeating this, even though you probably know, uh, just to make sure we are all on the same page. Now let's only look at the first one, okay? So model.layers, the first one, and get weights. When we get weight, what does it return? It returns the filter and the biases. We only care about filters right now, but let's run this and uh, see what we get. So if you look up here again, the filters for that first layer is three by three by three by 64. And we already know that, right? I mean, this is three by three and the three stands for the third three stands for RGB and the last 64 stands for 64 filters. And uh, let's go ahead and print it out on the screen so we can, uh, we can see it right down here. So my Conv2D 27, that number is randomly given depending on when you run this or how many times you run it, but whatever, that layer, that layer, by the way, look at the input uh, 224 by 224, we'll get to that in a second, but anyway, that layer is, uh, the filter is three by three by three by 64. If you want to see, okay, what is the layer number six? I think this one is 128. So let's run this two lines. And there you go. So three by three by 64 by 128, because we are going deeper, right? So it's actually growing in that dimension. Okay, so now let's go back to R1 and focus only on the, well, actually let's print out the filters, uh, the 64 filters. 
So all I'm trying to do here is just look at, uh, I mean, again, this is just a plotting and I'm only printing out the, uh, you know, the first zeroth filter. So we get only 64, otherwise you get 64, 64 and 64 for the three, okay? I hope these things make sense. If not, you have to go back and read a bit more about uh, deep learning and convolutional filters. So no magic here. All I'm trying to do is, since we already have uh, extracted filters over there, I'm just, uh, and that filters is, we already looked at the shape, right? It's three by three by three by 64. So I'm just going down here and I'm just saying, okay, uh, print all the 64 filters and three by three and ignore the last one, three by three by three, just do the first one of those. So let's switch to plots and here you go. These are all the filters. And these are only three by three filters. You can increase this and you can study these filters and the effect on your own, okay? but. More importantly, let's look at the responses of these uh, filters. So this is only the first one, right? So let's actually go to three different uh, convolutional filters or even five if you want, and then look at the output. And the input I'm going to look at is just our Mona Lisa picture. It can be any picture. If you wanna study different shapes, go ahead and do that. Okay, the way we are going to do that is first define a model, a new model, with the truncated system, right? I mean, here we have 37 or so of these uh, layers. So let's just do up to whatever, you know, convolution and then just chop it off there. And then just model.predict. That's as simple as it is, okay? If you know what I mean, you can exit this video. If not, just continue for a few more minutes. So all we are trying to do now is, okay, my convolutional layer index is one, three, and six. Remember, we have convolutional layers at one, three, six, eight, 11, 13, and 15, we counted. Or if you are clever enough, go ahead and write a for loop and look for the term conv and then extract the layer numbers and then write this thing down. I don't wanna make this any more complicated than it is already. Okay, so these are the layers I'm going to look at and my outputs equals to model.layers, okay? And uh, the output is, so all I'm trying to do here is just define the model, the same model right here, all the way only up to that last convolution layer, okay? So again, go through the code on your own, but when I print this, you'll see that, okay? I defined a new model, okay? I defined a new model, now not with 37 layers like earlier, but with the zero padding, conv 2D, zero padding, conv 2D, and zero padding, conv 2D. After this, go ahead and stop, okay? That's where I stopped. What happens is now, I'll just uh, look at the response from this, look at the response from this, and look at the response from this one. You can go all the way if you want, okay? Uh, up to the dense layer, okay? So now let's go ahead and load the image and our input is 224 by 224 by three, as you can see here. Okay, so that's our input. So I'm going to uh, resize my Mona Lisa image to that size. So let's go ahead and resize it while inputting. And there you go, now we have it. Now you know the drill, right? I mean, this is pretty much the case with any uh, deep learning. So you have your image as 224 by 224, that's it. Okay, now uh, I'm going to convert that into an array because this is not, uh, uh, you know, we cannot just work with, uh, uh, you know, an object right there. So you have to convert that into a NumPy error. That's exactly what we did. And once you convert that into an array, now it is 224 by 224 by three. And now I'm going to expand the dimensions because what goes in is, as you probably know, N, X, Y, and RGB, right? So now the shape of this array is one, 224, 224, three. I hope you know, you, this is nothing new to you guys up to this point. Now, it's as easy as this. My output of features is model short dot predict. That's it. The new model that I just defined dot predict. Okay, I'm not fitting, I'm not doing anything. Just predict and it's going to predict on it. Now I just need to plot. Okay, so this could have been literally a five second video where I just say go ahead and predict and then plot. So how do we plot it? Well, uh, let's do, since we have 64 filters, uh, let's do eight by eight grid. So my columns and rows are eight by eight. And all I'm doing is, uh, as you can see, my feature right there. Okay, 
uh, where am I getting my uh, feature from for feature in feature output what is my feature output I think it's important for you to see the feature output is a list of three from these three convolutional layers okay so that's my output I'm just going through zero one two and then just plotting them that's all as you can see okay and uh, let's go ahead and plot it so let's switch to plots because in this case I'm not plotting them in line I'm actually plotting them outside of it it takes a few seconds as you can see at least on my system so let's go ahead and switch to the plot so here is the first filters that we saw earlier and here is the response from my first convolutional layer second convolutional layer third convolutional layer and as you can see there are some filters that are looking at edges and if you have uh, even more depth you can actually see that in certain areas it's looking at roundedness and all that kind of stuff so I'll let you again figure it out or you know plot it on your own images but I hope you found this tutorial to be useful and thank you very much again please go ahead and subscribe to this channel because as you know you learn cool stuff if you subscribe to my channel and you get notified right away as soon as I upload a video thank you very much